Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Mariana and I'm so happy to meet you. So today guys, I am doing the extreme budget grocery challenge or extreme grocery budget challenge. So I've seen these videos quite a lot uh, last year and I really enjoy watching them. The things that people get in the US for 20 US dollars, people are getting like from 21 to 84 meals. That's a full month of meals for 20 US dollars. So, obviously we don't have no dollar store here in Trinidad and grocery uh, food in Trinidad is much more expensive than it is in the US. So I wanted to see what exactly I can get with roughly, um, 20 us basically but i just bumped it up a little bit you know <laughs> to 150 tt dollars so i'm trying today to get um seven days of breakfast lunch and dinner for myself for 150 tt dollars so that'll be 21 meals so i just figured that january is probably the best month to do this because January is usually uh, the hardest month of the year as in Trinidad we say the hardest month of the year so for my foreign friends that means that it is financially the hardest month of the year and also we have lots of people who actually go vegan or try to eat or cut out meat of their diet um, for the month of January and stuff for various reasons so I decided well January will be the best month to do this right so I typically follow a dairy free gluten free soy free diet that's when I cook at home for health reasons of course sometimes when I'm outside I eat meat sometimes but I'm not like buying food all the time I mostly cook and like buying food is often a treat for me so with that being said i'm not saying that you have to follow exactly what i'm gonna do here if this is just an example of what you can get things will definitely be cheaper if you follow a regular diet where you don't watch exactly what you eat and just eat most of the products that i buy also are organic products so that will make my stuff my grocery items a little bit more expensive than a regular person who eats regular rice and regular pasta and stuff you know so i'm trying with my diet to get a full week of food for only 150 tt dollars which would save me like 200 dollars a week because if you buy food some when i'm buying food outside if i'm buying lunch and stuff which i have been doing for the past few weeks being that i've been so busy i have been buying food more than cooking really so i've been spending like 40 and 50 dollars a day on lunch and when you multiply that by the week that's like 350 dollars for the week so let's see if i can get 150 dollars worth of food in one week so guys if that's something that you're interested in then be sure to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment or a question in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and be sure to click that notification bell so that you don't miss another upload from me if you want to see how i do this then keep on watching she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her there must be something bad not including in my $150 for the week I'm not including things like salt and black pepper and onions and green seasoning and these type of things because like oil and stuff because I already have these stuff here these will be staples that are in my house right through you know I very rarely have to buy salt and stuff because when I buy these things I buy them in bulk where they last me for six to twelve months so I don't really have to repurchase them very often so these I always have on hand 
Some of the things that I'm preparing today, I did not get specifically for this video because I already had them from when I made my groceries like two months ago and stuff before. Because like, like oats for instance, I buy oats in bulk because I'm always using, I use so much oats. So I usually buy like two packs of oats, sometimes one large pack. Um, and it's always the jumbo packs from Price Mart, and these last me quite a while. So, like things like that, that's what I'm talking about. So for breakfast, I'm making some banana oatmeal bars and smoothies. So it's not gonna be on the same day. I'm not having them on the same day. One day I have the oatmeal bar, next day I'll have a smoothie. Personally, I prefer to have really just smoothies alone for breakfast because I'm a huge eater in the morning. Um, so I prefer to have just a green smoothie for breakfast. But for the sake of this video, I wanted to do something other than just smoothies so that you guys can get other options. For lunch, I'm gonna do a Buddha bowl and for dinner, I'll be doing a one pot pasta. So guys, let me show you guys the ingredients. So I didn't buy any bananas specifically for this video because I always have frozen bananas. If you watch my videos, then you'll know that I always have frozen bananas in my fridge. So here are some, I have just have this right here. This is probably like $15 worth of bananas, but I'll probably just be using like $10 worth of it because I don't need a lot for the oatmeal bars. The bananas are really for the smoothie, which I just use one banana, sometimes half of a banana in the smoothie. Spinach, this pack of spinach, which was $29. So I got this Hans premium pasta sauce for $19.25. I bought this specifically for the sake of this video. Usually I buy the really large container of Prego sauce for $40 in Price Mart, which would have run me a lot cheaper than this cost me because this is $20 basically, $19.25. And this much in that large bottle of um, pasta sauce from Price Mart would have cost me just like around $10 to produce the pasta. This is the pasta that I often use, the Ronzoni gluten-free um, penne pasta, and this was $17.95. So I got this pack of kale for $14.50. It's locally grown. So the rice that I use is the Falak organic brown basmati rice. You guys would have seen this in my grocery haul a while back. Well, you can see that I still have in it. And um, this rice is gluten-free. As I said, you guys, I follow a gluten-free diet. Um, this, this, There's this much rice left in it. And this will be like one and a half cups of rice. And this will be perfect for the week for me. So this container of rice is usually $55. And if I was to like, figure out the amount that I'm using based on how much is in the container right now that would run me about $11 for this rice as I said if you're following a regular diet like $11 of rice in the regular parboiled rice can get you prop like 1 kg this is 1.5 kg of brown rice organic brown rice and you can get one kg of rice, of parboiled rice in the supermarket for $10. So you see, a pot of pilau, <laughs> if I was doing like just a regular pilau and stuff, it would have cost me so much cheaper for that, but yeah. So I purchased this pack of black beans. It's empty because I put it in the slow cooker to cook overnight. Um, so yeah, this is the pack of black beans that I got and this was $9.95. I, I put the entire pack in to cook and this is 350 grams of black beans. So my oats, right? As I told you guys, I purchased the really large packs of oats from um, Price Mart. I was gonna say Pennywise. Pennywise is calling my name. 
um but no my oats contain a would look like this and i would still go back to price mat and purchase another large pack so when i use this today the next time that i'm going to make groceries i will be purchasing another large pack of oats the rolled oats so um i'll be using about i estimated about nine dollars and fifty cents worth of this rolled oats by the way the pack of oats that i get it's usually it fills up this container to the tippy top plus still has like quarter of the pack remaining so it's a lot of oats this pack of chia seeds is expensive like 65 dollars but i will only be using a real little bit that's only gonna run me like four dollars with of this bag swiss creamy peanut butter this is forty dollars in price mat uh, this was 30 this is a 32 ounce this was 40 dollars in price mat and i'm gonna be using i estimated that i'll be using like just quarter of this jar which would run me like ten dollars next i have just some small cucumbers these are to go in my buddha bowl and this was just two dollars worth of cucumbers um oh squash i bought like last month i believe last month or this november i believe i bought a really i got a really really large peanut squash for just five dollars so i cut that up and i always preserve my food a lot of my um food by freezing them so i cut it up and i put it in the freezer and so that's what i have here but the, it was like the bag was full for five dollars this bag was full for five dollars so i would assume that this much that i have here is worth just one dollar and seventy cents these are just some coconut milk cubes that i have here and i won't be using all of this uh one coconut cost me like around nine dollars for one and i'll be using probably just like about a quarter of a coconut so i estimated that to be two dollars and 25 cents that's it let's get to cooking open eye through the waves cut through me so guys here i just have one banana that i mashed sorry if it looks icky but yeah <laughs> it's mashed
done cooking it's time to dish out all the food seven lunches for the week black beans there the brown rice is under um, we have cucumbers baked squash and kale so yeah So guys, these are my pastas. I got four bowls and um, I forgot a few of my lunch bowls at work. So this will pack into the rest of my lunch bowls when I get to work tomorrow. But, um, well, I'll bring them home from work tomorrow and pack them out in that. But yeah, so this is what my pasta looks like I just sprinkled some chili flakes on top and as well as some nutritional yeast for added nutrition you don't need to be prince charming to me I just need this so guys now that my meal prepping is all finished I wanted to let you guys know how it went right so look at this I've got this much spinach remaining and remember this pack was $29 so this saved me some money. I also used less coconut milk and oats that I assumed I would so with that I ended up making the adjustments to my total and for 21 meals, breakfast, lunch and dinner for a week. The grand total is $130.60. You guys, dare I say I killed it? Dare I? I have a whole $19.40 remaining, which means I, I'm sure you guys saw that I didn't prepare any snacks. I didn't buy anything to prepare any snacks. But now that I have money remaining, what I can do is buy like um, seven apples and just have apples with peanut butter 
yeah and I could I can also have celery stock with peanut butter I have celery stock in the fridge FYI which probably needs to be used up so that probably will be my snack this week um, but yeah maybe on another week I can also do um, those energy oatmeal energy balls so yeah you guys I'm just happy that I was able to accomplish this well within my budget so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sure it's a tad bit long because i've been here for a while so i hope you like it give it a thumbs up leave a comment or a question in the comment section down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and be sure to click that notification bell so that you don't miss another upload from me so guys i will see you all actually i'm headed to tobago real soon so my next video will be a vacation haul and a pack with me for tobago and i'll also be vlogging over there so be sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss that i will see you guys in my next video guys bye Mwah.